Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 18, and this is the first war of the season, and we're going up against an alliance called Brothers in Arms. All right, so of course I started off the season by forgetting that I was going to be recording these, uh, but I didn't record the first fight. I believe they skipped the first node as usual. I had one fight and I decided to go ahead and take out this mini boss. Now, in my previous war videos, I usually don't take out this mini boss. We have an alliance member that takes a path where he's already bringing counters for this boss, and what he'll do is he'll wait until I clear. He may not clear himself. That way, he can boost and then clear his path, take the mini, all on one boost. So it works out great for him. But in this case, I was a little late. Um, I think I forgot all about the war uh, until somebody mentioned it. And so I came in and saw that he had already cleared the uh, path. And so I said, okay, well, I only fought one fight on my path. And that particular mini boss, I saw that my Omega Red could take him out without too much difficulty. So I went ahead and took it. Uh, if I see a sentinel there, then I don't do that uh, because my particular counter is Omega Red and he doesn't do as well against robots. So I will let my alliance mate do that. One. All right, so we're in section two and I take path two. So I'm facing this kingpin. Now at the tier we currently are in this particular alliance, more on that later, uh, these are going to be some relatively easy fights. All right. Uh, they don't have the difficult nodes of the higher tier uh, wars, but I know that people love the Alliance War videos. All right. So I'm taking out this Kingpin. You'll notice that I'm taking a lot more block hits because I'm trying to build up those spores from Omega Red. And you can see I got like 21 of them on him right now. Okay, now they're dropping off, but it's too late for him. Now he's down. But that's why I was trying to stay as close as I could build up those uh, spores. Uh, and you'll notice that my Omega Red is unawakened and he's a six star. I took him to rank two and I have no regrets. You can see how useful he is. Uh, I use him now in every war every war since I ranked him up. All right, now we've got Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen can be very annoying. That evade, as the fight goes on, she will get these charges and she'll start evading more and more. So my strategy there, I generally do not do five hit combos on her. I'll do one hit, two hit, Maybe if I'm feeling a little aggressive, three hit, but I try to parry, stun, and do like one, two, one, two, three. And that is how I usually take her down. Now, when she's put on stun immune, you really want somebody that can take care of that evade. You know, um, Venom works beautifully on uh, Spider Gwen if she's on stun immune. All right, so. I didn't take this second mini. Uh, I was thinking about doing it, but my alliance mate, you know, went ahead and took it. We try to separate and, and each person takes out a mini, but I would have happily taken on uh, that second mini as well. And uh, in the past, he's also taken out two minis, uh, sometimes three. All right, so now we're on little mini island. And I was eyeing that havoc for a while because I brought in guillotine 2099. Now I don't have guillotine 2099 ramped up. So that means her damage is not gonna be all that great for most of this fight. Ideally, you want to have a fight with her uh, sometime you know, before the big fight like this one, uh, I would have fought someone else, built up her combo, uh, you know, just end the fight with a special three and then don't use her until this one, and this, and that would have made this fight so much easier. But I didn't do that, haven't used her at all during this war, 
The reason that I started bringing her instead of my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is because of the defense tactic flow. I hate that uh, defense tactic. Every time you crit, they get power. All right. So I started to bring Guillotine 2099. Now, in this tier, we're not having to deal with that. But when we go back to our regular tier, we're going to have to deal with it again. And so I'm just getting used to bringing her uh, into Alliance War. She is great against Flow because she will not crit. So they don't gain any power. Now, the reason that she is a great counter for Havoc is because she gets a permanent armor up buff. And that armor up buff means that she will not have to deal with those plasma charges, no plasma detonate, nothing like that. So what that did was it made this fight fairly straightforward if you know how to fight Havoc. Now he's difficult to parry, you can do it. He's difficult to parry, so having him on a limber node wasn't a problem because you really don't want to parry him in the first place. So what you see me doing here a lot is taking the blocked hits, countering, you know, like see right there, I did a re-parry. If you don't know what that is, uh, do some uh, searching on YouTube and you'll get a nice uh, description, uh, you know, uh, on what re-parrying is. All right, but as you can see here, I'm just uh, baiting out his attacks. All right, he's got that special two, very easy to evade. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. Now, if I had built up Guillotine 2099, this fight would have already been over. Okay, just to give you an idea. Uh, she gets more damage after she gets to a 100 hit combo. And if you finish a fight with a special three, she starts the next fight with a 100 combo. All right, so she would have started this fight with a 100 combo and her damage would have just kept going up until they were dead. So it would have been a much faster fight. Don't ask what happened there. Um, I'm not going to complain about dropped inputs or anything like that, but we were able to, you know, recover and get him down. Now, she also has a heal, so I wasn't worried. I didn't panic or anything like that. I was a little salty when that happened. I was like, what? I was like, w w what just happened? But I was like, no time for that. No time for that. Let's just go. All right. Now, this void, I'm not touching that void. I run suicides all the time, not messing with that void. That would be, pardon the uh, play on words, that would be suicide. Not going up against that void. And fortunately, I didn't have to. We have another uh, couple of people that bring counters for not just this node, but for that void. And we check out the paths, we look over and we make a plan before we go in, who's gonna bring a counter for what champions, okay? So that's gonna do it for this part of the fight. All that's left now is to find out how we did in this very, very first war of the season. So I will be right back and we're gonna find out just how we did. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this first war of the season. So hopefully, this is going to be the last season where we are in this tier. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with what's going on, you'll notice that the alliance that I am currently in is not the same as the alliance that I'm in at other times. And if you're savvy on what that means, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. But thanks to the Alliance ticket system, this should be the last time that this happens. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you have any suggestions on different fights that you saw in the video, Feel free to leave those comments. They can help me out. They can help other people out as well that read the comments. One of the things that I like about these videos is that I get a chance to get reviewed.
peer reviews, they call it in uh, IT, where I have other players, other fighters looking at my fights and then giving me critiques or suggestions. I've actually improved my fighting because of the feedback from some of my war videos, both from my alliance and from non-alliance members. So don't be afraid to go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what you think. If you have a suggestion, maybe it's something that I've already tried and doesn't work for me, but it might be something that I hadn't even thought about or didn't even know. All right. So take care. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you all have a blessed day.